drive away. Coming today with a slightly different video. Uh, this time it's on sprayers. As you will see from my previous videos, you'll see that obviously I clean driveways and patios, and I like to use uh, strong bleach as a uh, as a cleaning agent. And you'll see some of the uh, some of the videos that I've done showing how effective it is. The downside to using strong bleach is obviously that when you uh, want to apply it using a sprayer or the bucket method, uh, obviously this will be the spray method, you will uh, no doubt come across that the seals in most sprayers don't last particularly long when using strong bleach or chemicals. So I'm always on the lookout for uh, new sprayers, um, especially ones that have got Vitten seals, so obviously they last a lot, lot longer. Uh, so I've come across this one, it's an Outer 15000, this one does have Vitten seals, it's uh, specially designed for lubricants and uh, petrol, solvents, etc. Um, this one was supplied by a company called Engines for Industry, uh, you can get these on eBay, uh, they come in at around about 85 90 quid, something like that. Um, what stood out for me on this one? is the fact that it's it's got a battery operated motor that goes in the top so you haven't got a pump so um, yeah I'll show you this it comes with, with this this kitty here uh, this basically goes in the top uh, as a replacement to the, the uh, conventional uh, handle pump you can use both you know if you want if the batteries run out on this you can obviously go manual but this means you haven't got a pump. So you've got wheels on the trolley, you can wheel it around, you can pump it, and it's bit and sealed. So, win-win, all round. Uh, I say I've tried many different sprays in the past. I've tried hose locks, they're not bit and sealed. Uh, the blue backpack spray you've seen, that's not bit and sealed. Uh, I've got Hudson Never Pump, which is, is again, is another battery operated one. I'll show you in another video that I'll do later. Uh, again, that's not bit and sealed. God only knows why. So basically, this is the Alta 15,000. I'll show you what comes in the kit. So this is how it comes. It comes in this box. And it will look something like this. So as you can see, it will require a small amount of uh, assembly, but uh, nothing that shouldn't be outside the scope of many people, uh, especially when you follow the, uh, the destructions that come with it. It's an Italian company, so it should be of... Uh, very good quality. I've used a lot of Italian products throughout my jet washing time. They all seem to be very good, good quality products. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get this built. So when you uh, when you finish assembling it, it should look something like. So as you can see, it's trolley based. So it's got wheels. nice long handle you can actually adjust it you can split it in the middle if you're a bit shorter than most people and you want a, a shorter lance you can so yeah you'll see there you've got the uh, the motor head uh, it does come with the standard pump standard handle should you wish to uh, go manual also comes with a, a charger um, it does take eight AA batteries in the motorhead. How long they last, I'm not too sure. Um, we should find out when we put it to the test. Um, but you can put some rechargeable batteries in there, so uh, Duracell, energ energizers, whatever you want. And um, then you can use that charger to, to charge up the batteries without having to keep removing them. So uh, basically what you do, what I've done is I've, I've built it put some water in the bottom and then what you do is you just switch it on and let it prime so basically let it pressurize when the light goes out it's ready to go I'll pause this and come back to it when it's primed. So once the uh, pump is primed, the light goes out and it's ready to use. 
So I've put some water in it. Let's see how it works. Nice spray. Let's move the trolley out of the way so you can see. Nice, nice coverage. I would assume that the uh, pump will kick back in once the pressure drops. So the nozzle head is adjustable. You can go from a fine point to a mist spray. Yeah, no, that's got really nice coverage actually, it's very quick. Let's see how long we get out of this before the uh, pump kicks back in to repressurize. So this is only water. There was only a couple of litres of water in the actual bottom of the uh, of the tank. Well, that's spraying for a really long time. It took quite a while for the pump to prime up. But they say there was only a couple of litres of water in the bottom of it. So I dare say if it was full it will probably prime a lot quicker. Well it's going to go forever. Ok well, that will do for the minute. So there it is, the Auto 15000. I'm going to be giving this a a, uh, a field test in a little while's time. Uh, I'll put some bleach in it. I've got a job to do involving some bleach work. So I'll um, get this out and give it a proper run through and see how we get on. The first impression's very good. It's it's very sturdy. It's very well built. Uh, the uh, the lance and the, uh, the handle trigger mechanism, although it's not metal, it is plastic. Um, but it does feel quite sturdy. The fittings and connections when putting it together was very good, uh, much better than some other brands that I've used. Uh, and it, it seems quite compact, it holds 15 litres, so obviously it's um, not quite as, as much as the backpack sprayers, they tend to hold 20 litres. But it's, it's quite light and obviously being on wheels it's quite mobile. So we shall, uh, we shall field test this in a, in a uh, little while's time and we shall see how we get on.